hello friends welcome back to my channel in this video tutorial i will show you how to fix nba 2k26 game crashing not launching not loading freezing lagging showing black screen error or other issues on pc so let's go through it so the first method is to check system requirements of the game so for that go to steam and then search for the game then go below after that here you can see the system requirements to play the game on your PC. So make sure you follow the uh, system requirements and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the issue. If not, next is to restart PC and Steam. So for that go to Steam, click on Steam option over here and then click on exit. After that click on Windows or start option then click on power and then click on restart. So this will restart your system. After this try to launch the game and check if this resolves the issue or not. If not, next is to verify integrity of game files. So for that, go to Steam, under library section, select your game. Right click on, on the game, select properties, then click on install files. And here you need to click on verify integrity of game files. So after verifying the game files, now try to launch the game and check if this helps to fix the issue. Next is to update graphics card. So for that, go to search option over here, search for device manager. Now go to display adapters select your graphics card right click on it click on update driver and then click on search automatically for drivers so this will search for the best drivers if it is installed then okay or if it requires any update simply update your graphics card and after that try to launch the game and check if this helps to fix the issue uh, nvidia and amd users simply go to the link that i have provided in the description and download or update your graphics card and after that try to launch the game and check if this resolves the problem Next to check graphic settings of the game. So when your graphic settings are not properly set up like texture quality resolutions, etc. Then it directly impacts the game. And this is where the game can crash or suffer from other issues. So uh, you are suggested to disable demanding options like ray tracing, motion blur or high quality shadows, reduce anti-aliasing from high to medium or low, set FPS at 60 and uh, doing this can lower the overload on hardware and hopefully the issue can be resolved. Now try to launch the game and check if it has fixed the issue. If not, next is to modify launch option. So for that, go to Steam, under library section, select your game, right click on it, click on properties, then click and uh, under general, here you need to type minus DX11 and then try to launch the game and check if this resolves the issue. If not, you simply need to type minus DX12 and after that, try to launch the game and check if it helps to resolve the problem. Next solution is to run game as administrator. So for that, uh, go to Steam, select your game under library section, right click on it, then click on manage, then go to browse local files. This will take you to the game folder where it has been installed. Now select your game, right click on it, click on properties. Now click on compatibility, then select run this program as an administrator and then hit on apply and OK. After this, try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem. If not, Click on run this program in compatibility mode for select Windows 8 or Windows 7 and then hit on apply and OK. And after that, try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem. If not, click on disable full screen optimization, then click on apply and OK. And after doing this, try to launch the game and check if it fixes the issue you are coming across. Next solution is to allow the game through firewall. For that, go to the search option over here, search for Windows Defender Firewall. Now click on allow an app or feature after that click on change settings and here you should look for the game if it's listed over here if not then click on allow another app click on the browse section and from here you can easily add the game to the list after this uh, once your game is added over here select it make sure, make sure both private and public boxes are ticked and then click on ok option after this launch the game and check if this resolves the problem next is to update windows for that go to the search option search for check for updates this will take you to the windows update page here you can see if there is any update available simply click on check for updates and once your windows is updated now launch the game and check if it has resolved the issue next is to disable in-game overlays so steam users simply go to steam select your game in library right click on it click on properties and here you need to 
disable it this will be enabled by default simply click on it and it will be disabled so after this check if the problem is resolved if not uh, for GeForce experience simply open GeForce experience click on gear icon beside username click on general and from here switch off in-game overlay option for discord overlay go to user settings then game overlay tab here switch off enable in-game overlay option after this try to launch the game and check if it fixes the issue next is to close unnecessary background tasks so for that go to the search option over here search for task manager now check which app is consuming more resources or is of no use simply select it after selecting it right click on it and click on end task so this will close the background task that is of no use and after that try to launch the game and check if it helps to fix the issue next solution is to install the latest patch or update your game so for that go to steam and under library section select your game and here you should check if there is any update available if any update is there simply tap on it and once your game is updated now try to launch the game and check if it resolves the problem next is to install visual c++ files so for that the link i have provided in the description just go through it copy it and paste it in your browser now go below and from here you need to download the visual c++ files after downloading it install it and then try to launch the game and check if it fixes the issue next is to change virtual memory settings so for that you have to go to uh, the search bar search for view advanced system settings after that click on settings then click on advanced and then click on change and after that select your of uh, drive and then click on custom size here you need to type 24576 in the initial size and in the maximum size you need to type 49152 and now click on set and then click on ok so after this try to for this try to launch the game and check if it fixes the problem next is to disable antivirus program so if you are having an antivirus program installed on your system then it can interrupt in your gameplay and can lead to such kind of issues so you are suggested to disable such type of antivirus program if it is installed and after that try to launch the game and check if it helps to fix the issue next is to run game on dedicated graphics card so for that go to search option over here search for graphics settings and from here you need to add your game to the list over here simply click on add desktop app after that go to the game folder where it has been installed and simply select it and add it to the list and after that click on the arrow icon and under GP preference you need to select high performance so after doing this launch the game and see if the issue is resolved or not if not the final solution is to uninstall the game and again reinstall so for that go to steam under library section select your game right click on it click on manage then click on uninstall and again click on uninstall option over here so after removing the game from your pc now restart your pc once after restarting launch steam and then reinstall the game once again and after that try to launch and see if this solution fixes the problem you are coming across so i hope following these methods will surely help to fix uh, the issue like crashing not launching not loading lagging freezing black screen issue on nba 2k 26 on pc so that's all for now in this video thank you